previously on Beauty and the Geek. Nine geeks and nine beauties arrived at the mansion, eager to meet each other. Hi, everybody. And begin their transformation. Rich fantasy lies. Yikes. After a night of getting acquainted, the Chaim. The Chaim? The beauties and geeks formed opinions about who they would want as their partner. I want Tony just. I feel like I could take him out of his shell a little bit. But Joshua and Shay gained the power to seal everyone's fate. Who's the next team you're going to put together? And just when they thought they could settle in, for the first time in Beauty and the Geek history, allow me to introduce the 10th and final team. One beauty will be a man. One geek will be a woman. Meet them tonight. Team, Sam and Nicole. Hi. I was the only female geek, and one of the first thoughts in my head was, the entire time I'm here, I'm always going to be the ugliest girl in the room. As soon as I saw the guy, I thought, I hope none of the geeks are hoping to hook up with a beauty, because their chances just plummeted. I would totally tell a geek, just do it. You know, do it. Stop being a geek. Be cool. You know? He will be competing in challenges with the beauties, and she will be facing off against the guy geeks in their challenges. I'd like to learn how to be a bit girlier and, and flirtier. I certainly don't have any game, as they call it. I will be doing the girls a favor by hooking up with them because it will boost their confidence. You know? I think they need it. Other than the little gender flip, they're just like any other team. Reversing the roles of Beauty and the Geek. No boy, no. I don't know if I want Sam and Nicole in the house. I feel like it changes everything. <laughs> I think I can go in there full steam, do my best, and win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm sure you are all anxious to meet our new arrivals and pick out your rooms. I will see you all tomorrow morning, where I will pass out your first set of study materials. And that is when the transformation truly begins. We were trying to pick rooms, and it was fun because everyone was running every which way. Josh! Get in here! Josh, get in here! Get in here! <laughs> I call it, I call it, I call it. Cool. I wish I could put like a sign or something that says our names. Be like, this room is taken. We have to sleep in that same bed, and I got stubbly legs. What? We got stuck with probably one of the worst rooms in the house. Are these my glasses? No, you're the beauty, so you get the TR. I'm the beauty? Oh, of course. I'm a club promoter, and if I was walking down the street and I saw Nicole, I would think that she's probably someone that I just really wouldn't be that interested in hanging out with. Wait a second, where's the closet? I think that Sam definitely is a 180 from me, just appearance-wise, certainly. He puts much more time into it than I do. Top or bottom, that's all I can say. Are you excited about everything? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Do you like me as a partner? Do you love it? You were actually last on my internal list of partners. I was last. David told me that um, I was his last pig. I was like, oh my gosh, why? I don't think that you're a bad person or anything. It, it, it's just that I feel you have a very different communication style than I do, but um, I know part of this whole experience is growing out of your comfort zone, so I'd say we move past this and win this thing. You're sleeping on the floor tonight. Well, I... Good night, pool party! 
I consider myself a good-looking guy. I like being big. I like walking into a place and just people looking at you and all that. Hey, your oh, does anybody want a beer? My body is out of shape and overweight, and I should really get more exercise than I do. What I'm looking forward to the most is some hardcore partying with a bunch of hot girls. <laughs> want some champagne? You guys want some champagne? All 18 of us, I feel like, are in one group, and then there's them too. We're all doing it. Everybody has to get a cool. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Guys like Sam have always gotten by on their looks and their big muscles. Me, Ed. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I know there's got to be some sort of animosity. I'm that guy, Beauty. And Nicole's the, the smart girl. You know, we flipped a sucker. We flipped it up. Let me try to do it. This way. The idea to dress up alike was Amanda's. She was trying to teach me that I can look really hot with the clothes I have. I felt really lucky to have her as my partner. And then you gotta put your shirt on and go down with your bow tie too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Getting ready, it normally takes me, uh, all, like, I mean, it takes hours, to be completely honest. It takes hours. Washing my face, spraying on the cologne and the, and the body lotion and all that. You gotta do maintenance, you know? I gotta put in a bunch of, like, pomade in my hair. If a hair's out of place, you gotta cut it. I gotta do my sit-ups, you know, you never know when a girl's gonna come and lift your shirt up, which happens a lot. I mean, you wouldn't think, but it happens a lot. Today in the mansion, we had a meeting to go over our first challenge. Today, the real game begins. Here's how it works. Each week, you'll be given two sets of study materials. One for the beauties, and one for the geeks. Each winning team will not only be exempt from elimination, but you'll also get the power to pick one team to send to the elimination room. Now, in the elimination room, those two teams will compete answering questions that are based on the study materials that we gave you for that week. Now, the losing team will leave the house immediately. Hi. Let's talk about this week's challenge. Well, you are all about to learn a brand new language. To the beauties, I'm sure you're fluent in fashion and pop culture trends, but some of you might get a little bit tongue-tied when you have to talk about politics and current events. I do not know anything about anything. Like, I know George Bush is the president, and that's about it. To the geeks, you guys will also be learning a new language, the language of 3-6 Mafia, Run DMC, and Snoop D-O-double-G. Yes, yes, y'all, y'all are gonna write your own autobiographical rap song. Word. Yeah. You're gonna spit your mad, funky lyrics on a stage in front of an audience. I've always loved music. I really love studying it analytically. But a rap off, I felt out of my league immediately. Worst challenge ever. All right, well, your study materials are right over there. You have the rest of the day to prepare. Good luck, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. I think you're going to be debating a topic, like do you support raising the minimum wage? Do you support forgiving the third world debt? And why? So we want to sound important tomorrow. We want, we to, want sound to sound like, like, like you know what you're talking about. about. Exactly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, well, you, we're gonna have to know like you, statistics you or something. You probably don't need to necessarily. They're gonna want you to speak intelligently on all the topics. I'm very intimidated. I didn't realize I need to know so much. Arctic well, National opinion. Wildlife Refuge? <laughs> what in the world? Writing a rap is not the toughest thing. We could talk about uh, my degree in uh, astronomy. Well, you do stars. Right. So yeah. you could be like, the stars are shiny. I was suddenly worried. And then I thought, I'll just treat it as uh, another LARP. I will research the character of a rapper and uh, become this new character. Yabba dee, yabba doo, yabba doo ba loo ba da da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yabba la ba ta da da doo. Y'all may think we lamesters, 
but even geeks be gangsters. How's your song coming? Uh, does you want to understand relativity? Just listen to the lesson of a Z squared E. Good. You, you're remembering it too? Pretty good? I think so, yeah. Good. That's good. Four and five. I don't even know who 50 Cent was until like Amanda told me, Tony, 50 Cent, G unit. I can't study twice a year practicing, I need to study because otherwise I'm worried about you. For that challenge, like, I don't know, he won't practice in front of me. I feel like I've been like putting like a, a wall against me and Amanda a little bit. Why I do put a wall around myself and pe other people is just to protect myself. I was like, just like go over like a line with me, just show me something, just do something so I can feel confident. And I just couldn't get him to do anything at all. I am definitely really nervous about the challenge tomorrow. Start doing something, okay. When I walked into the nightclub, I was thinking, who are these guys? Welcome to the first ever Beauty the Geek Rap Attack. I want to introduce our judges for today, straight out of the Dirty South, Oscar winners, 3-6 Mafia. Even I've heard of 3-6 Mafia. They won an Academy Award. These people are not amateurs. All right, today all 10 geeks have written and they will perform their own original rap songs for the title of MC Geeky. 36 Mafia definitely intimidated me. I think rappers are a group that's polar opposite of me, not just in coolness, but also because I've been very sheltered. Put your hands together for MC Nicole and her fly boy. We have to win every single challenge. If we don't win a challenge, we are definitely going to elimination. Smell my money, smell my money, woo! And at one point, they made a motion like this. <laughs> then someone called out, they want to see your booty. And I was like, oh. <laughs> no one has ever asked to see my booty. Are you ready? I think so. I mean, okay. I, I think I know the lyrics as well as I possibly can. She wanted to pull my pants somewhat down to my waist, and you know, I kept feeling like they're gonna slip off. No, 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 we don't need you to pull them off. The, these are gonna fall. No, you make them tighter. Well, that's what I was going to do. He was like shaking and doing this little twitching thing with his face all the time, and I just said, look at me. You better calm down. This is JV the Geek. It's the honeys I see. What? It paired me with the beauty. <laughs> A caramel cutie. What? What? I was up there. I was so nervous. Your pants didn't fall. They didn't. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it's L E C it's R P E R. Say it loud. Say it far. You win LARPing by having fun, and that's rule number one of being a good rapper. I love shaking my butt in front of people. <laughs> MC Will and his partner in rhyme. I have total faith in him. I really know he can do it. And from a very young age, I was mighty strange. Cause every time I turn around, I'm turning the page. So now here I am. I'm beauty and the geek with the lady so fine. It just makes me free, but they're way out of my league. But let me tell you in the meantime, I'm certainly enjoying the view. <laughs> The die is cast, the Rubicon is crossed. There's nothing else I can do at this point. Let me go back, calm down, and we'll see what happens. All right, put your hands together for MC Jesse and his fly girl. I'm a geek, I don't deny. I don't know what I'm saying now. Jesse was having a difficult time keeping up with the beats of the music, but a lot of geeks forgot all the words. <laughs> Vibe. They were just like, let's have fun with these challenges. Go out there, just have fun, make up stuff. 
It was kind of funny. Don't be nervous. A lot of people out there forgot words. Some people had absolutely nothing to say, and they stood there and just let the music play. Mm -hmm. So as long as you talk, just talk. I feel like Tony Shinness may hinder us a little bit. My performance, I felt that I did pretty bad on it. I was really nervous, like a deer in headlights, as they say. Tony's performance was like the biggest disappointment of the night. Sorry. You were so nervous. I forgot what I was going to say. I just couldn't get him to break down that shyness barrier and just go up there and kind of like give his all for the team. All right, keep it going for MC John and his fly girl. Never put a label and put you in a box. Well, tell him what you're about to show him so f***ing. Got you a little bit crazy down in here. I thought the juggling went over really well. I thought the audience was really with me. John's performance was the best performance, I think, out of everybody. All right, so I understand you guys had a great deal of discussion about two of the rappers that you thought were really good. Who were they? The juggler. It was really exciting, and I was proud that the audience was really into the show. All right, John, and then, and who else? My vote was for Will. Big Will, have a stand right there. What's going through my head is, okay, it used to be I was a one in 10 shot. Now it's one out of two. There was some serious gain on the line. Three Six Mafia, I know you've talked it over. Yes, who gets yep. the title of MC Geeky? We have a joint decision. Me and Juicy. The winner is... Three Six Mafia, I know you've talked it over. Yeah, Who gets yeah. the title of MC Geeky? We have a joint decision. Me and Juicy. The winner is... Will. One, I was I was really excited and he was perfect. I was like, I, I knew he had it. It's hard to come so close uh, and, and not get it, you know. All right, you and Rebecca are now safe from elimination and you have the power to send one team to the elimination room. So I will see you all a little bit later for the beauties challenge. See you guys. Nicole shouldn't win like I, like I was hoping. And so now I'm the one who's got to step up and just rock it out and win one for the team. When I arrived to the Beauties Challenge, I really hoped to win. I want to eliminate Sam and Nicole. I don't think it's fair to have the team in here. Hello, Beauties. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what we were about to do. Today, you're gonna take the art of arguing to a whole new level as you debate each other. Your challenge will be shaped according to your study materials. We've randomly selected some of you to argue pro or for argument, and some of you to argue against or con. It's time to meet your judges. Introducing Susan Estrich, a lawyer and television commentator. <laughs> and Jack Berkman, a conservative political consultant. Ladies, good to meet you. These two nationally known political pundits will determine which of you is the master debater. I actually like debates. I'm really good argumenting points. Our first two speakers are Jasmine, who will be arguing for, and Rebecca, Against. Your topic is, should the federal minimum wage be raised? There's like the judges and everyone, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like a real 
debate thing happening. What am I gonna say? I used to make minimum wage working at a, a retail store, actually, and it wasn't fair, it wasn't cutting my bills, and I lived with my parents. <laughs> I disagree. We don't need for the people to have more money. The way that they are now should be the way that they should be. And we should definitely not hire them. <laughs> Rebecca definitely looked like she was struggling to say something, anything. OK. What she said made no sense to me. <laughs> Wage needs to be hired. Your topic is, should marijuana be decriminalized? 30 million Americans have smoked marijuana, and um, they, they didn't die or anything, and they're fine, so <laughs> they should definitely legalize it. Oh my gosh, that was a really hard challenge. I was like, wow, yeah, I need to study a little harder and take this a little more seriously. Drug dealers out there make a living selling marijuana. If we legalize marijuana, these drug dealers no longer have a source of income. <laughs> Next up to the podium, Holly and Natalie. Your topic is, should the US drill for oil in Anwar? I stand firmly on drilling for oil in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. We cannot have cars running on canola oil or whatever, you know, hippies think we can run cars on. <laughs> oil is very important, and the Arctic has plenty full. <laughs> I mean, she did good. She was very cute up there, the little flitting her dress around when she tried to kill time. <laughs> Your rebuttal. No, I do not believe we should be drilling. One, we don't know how much oil there is, and um, along with it gives jobs, it has very low um, gas, everything's estimated, and we could have less oil than we actually we could go through in just a few years. Like, I had all this information, and I had all these reasons, and then I just lost it. Should G8 nations forgive third world debt? A lot of times, more, more powerful countries will loan these third world countries money knowing that they're not going to be able to pay it back. For example, South Africa. They had acquired a lot of debt from their past leader, and that country is going to pay it back at a ridiculous interest rate. So I think that we should definitely help out third world countries that are in a lot of debt. I was really proud of Katie's performance. It was really, really good. She, she did excellent. Okay, Jen. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, When it comes to talking about politics, I would say that I talk about it at zero. <laughs> That's time. <laughs> Should the drinking age be lowered to 18 years of age? I think that the drinking age should be lowered to 18. I've partied with a lot of people, 18 to 21, and mentally, I think that they're all pretty much at the same level. <laughs> I think that if 18-year-olds could party, I think that the clubs would be really, really cool. When Sam got up there to debate, he almost looked like he was modeling. He looked like he was posing. Whenever they did lower um, the drinking age from 21 to 18, the death rate of teens, it rose. I mean, you have to think of, like, innocent people on the road and also them taking their own lives. When she gave her speech, she jogged my memory. I believe that the deaths of the under-21 drivers were because 
People were driving from states where the drinking age was 21 years old, driving all the way across the border to drink in those states where the age was 18. I believe in a statewide, every single state all across the U.S., 18, in which case people can drink at their house and not drive. People can go down the street and drink and find a way home safely. I thought his rebuttal was amazing because Shea brought up some evidence and then he knew exactly how to counteract it. So I was very thrilled with his performance. Now that we have heard from all of our pundits in training, it's time to find out what the judges thought. Let the beauties know how you think they did. I think we both thought we're in unanimous decision, no dissent. Now that we have heard from all of our pundits in training, it's time to find out what the judges thought. Let the beauties know how you think they did. I think we both thought we're in unanimous decision, no dissent. Sam, we believe you are the winner. You were the top debater today. I'm like the furthest thing from what I would expect to like be a debate champion. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, that's cool. Your presentation, it was, it was logical. You made all the points. You did a good job. When they announced Sam as the winner, I was very happy because I thought, oh, I'm safe for the elimination. Well, congratulations, Sam. You won the challenge. That means that you and your partner, Nicole, you have the power to choose one team to go to the elimination room. I'm very nervous of how Sam and Nicole have the power to eliminate somebody because all of us girls, we're going to eliminate them. And I'll see all you crazy kids tomorrow for your decision, but enjoy your night. Right now, I feel that pretty much all of the teams are definitely in danger of being sent to the elimination room. Now we're all kind of like, oh crap, we gotta study. Can you run independent if you are Democratic, or that just generally doesn't happen? I haven't, I haven't looked at the chapter at all. I definitely have to study up on that stuff. Well, I haven't read it, but possibly. Alrighty. Tony and I have been studying, and it was just... In the hours leading up to choosing a team for elimination, Rebecca and I have to sit down with Sam and Nicole and just talk about it a little. Maybe we should just run through teams so we know who the hell we're talking about. Okay. Oh, you know, oh, Katie's room has a window. No, oh, girls, 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 girls. Right. Jasmine and I went into my room just to chill for a minute, and we were thinking about eavesdropping. Choosing someone to go to the elimination room is a very, very hard decision. You don't want to give him any reasons to make it easier. It's fun. I know it's fun. when it comes to social things, I think he's going to be pretty good. I think this is kind of quiet, like when we're all hanging out. There's a so, couple of teams we haven't talked about. I like Dave. I like good Jasmine. Job. Great girl. What about John? You um, want to talk about a strong contender, John's the other one who did well in the Yeah, election. yeah. I feel like making the decision has to be off of the competition and not yet off of who we like, like or we don't. Like I am absolutely not confident I'm not going to be eliminated. I think it's just going to be anyone. I think no one is safe, <laughs> except for those people that are safe. No, I feel cool. like if Whatever. I picked someone, you know. Are you doing what I think you're doing? You are. Don't even try. I think you have a stronger opinion about, like... The girls. Honestly, I'm interacting We're with We're moving. The girls. I know that today. Tisk, 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 tisk to both of you. <laughs> Will was a little upset that we were eavesdropping and I'm very stressed out right now. Tisk, tisk.
I feel bad for putting somebody in the elimination room. I mean, if, if I had it my way, nobody would go home. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Well, this is the least fun part of the process. Because after this, two teams go in the elimination room and only one comes out. That's what's at stake. Dave, I have to ask about the outfit. And I have to guess it's for good luck. Well, I thought formal dress was appropriate for a formal occasion. <laughs> so, Sam, you won the Great American Beauty Debate, which gives you guys now the power to send one team to the elimination room. Who's that going to be? These people did really, really well. And so we know that they're going to be a threat in the future. It's going to be John and Natalie. So, Will, you won the first challenge that you competed in. Now you have to pick one team to go to the elimination room. Who's it going to be? We picked a team where we feel that the guy, the geek, has been overly passive. And that's Amanda and Tony. All right, Amanda and Tony, Natalie and John, you guys are headed to the elimination room. The beauties will be asked questions about American government, current events, and politics. And the geeks will have to answer questions about hip hop. But by the end of the night, one team will be headed home. So take some time, pack your bags. I'll see both of you later on in the elimination room. Good luck. I feel like I haven't got to know all the people here fully yet. There's a lot more experience I want to get. Yeah, I don't want to go home. I don't think anyone wants to go home, but I certainly don't. How are you feeling, Amanda? Just study and kick ass. Mm -hmm. OK. Right? Yes. All righty. Uh, I was wondering if I can just say something to you for a few moments. Is that OK? If you want to say something, you can say it. Okay. It's, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. It's really hard for me to open up to people. So uh, I'm pretty sure you already noticed that. Yeah. I'm really afraid to open up. I'm getting myself hurt. And sometimes I really feel I didn't really have enough courage to do it. And I, I let you down. You didn't let me down. The only thing that I'm mad about is I kind of wish that I just I feel like he doesn't want to be shy, but I feel like he doesn't know how not to be. And he's uncomfortable learning to come out of his shell. Walking into this elimination, I am determined to put everything I have on it. I'm doing this for Amanda. Everything I do, I do it for her. I'm sorry. Want some tissues? Because I got lit. Oh, no, I got it. Serious, they really did pick the two teams that are the strongest, that are the most threat, because Tony is very smart, you're very smart. You know, it's not going to be simple to beat them, but I think we can do it. I'd really like to stay and continue and continue to learn, because I feel like I haven't learned anything really much yet. My goal is to really test myself and to just fight against Amanda and Tony. This Wednesday, the competition has only just begun, but things are already getting nasty. You really think America next time I was gonna be an exotic dancer? I hate cat fights. You wanna bring it to that level? Someone's gonna get eliminated because of this. Shit. All new, America's Next Top Model, this Wednesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. I would do everything I can to fight to win this elimination. I'm not going to hold back. I think that Tony and Amanda are going to be very stiff competition. They will be strong. And so I think it's going to come down to a roll of the dice. John and Natalie, Amanda and Tony, welcome to the elimination room. Here's how it works. You'll each be given a series of questions. The team with the most correct answers wins and stays in the mansion. The losing team will have to leave immediately. Ladies, you're gonna go first. Guys, you'll be able to watch your partners from the viewing room. Say your goodbyes, and we'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes.
All right, ladies, you will each get two questions about politics. Natalie, the first pick is yours. Which number would you like? Three. Number three. How many stars were on the official U.S. flag in January 1984? Stars. Thirteen. That is incorrect. The correct answer is 50. All right, Natalie, shake it off, shake it off. Amanda, it is your turn. It is still zero to zero. Come on, Amanda. Number four, please. Number four. Here we go. Name three men or women who served as U.S. president during the past 40 years. None of them can be named Bush. Come on. <laughs> um, Bill Clinton. Come on. One, two more. John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan. That is incorrect. John F. Kennedy was not in the past 40 years. Damn. Natalie, it's back to you. Which number would you like? One. Number one. Which of these is the opening phrase of the preamble to the U.S. Constitution? We the people, when in the course of human events, or, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. We the people. That is correct. Yes! Yes, Natalie. Okay, Amanda, back to you. It is one to zero, so it's important to keep this close and get this one right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. When referring to international oil production, what does the acronym OPEC stand for? Oh, my God. Can you go over this one? No. I think I went over this with Natalie. Come on. I need an answer. Oil production, economic countries. I don't know. That is incorrect. The correct answer is organization of the petroleum exporting countries. Now it is completely up to your guys. The score is one to zero. Let's bring the guys back in from the viewing room. So guys, the ladies did their part. They kept it close. And now it's all up to you. Okay. So ladies, you can now head back over to the viewing room and watch your partners. Thanks. You're confident. You know a lot. All right, guys, since both of you are now master MCs, your questions will, of course, be about hip-hop. John, if you get the first pick, which number would you like? Uh, give me a question four, Mike. Question number four. As of this exact moment, how many times has hip-hop superstar 50 Cent been shot? 50 Cent has been shot nine times. That is correct. Okay, Tony, the next pick is yours. It is two to zero. You have to get this right to stay in the house. Let's try number one. Number one. When asked his opinion of Eminem in a February 17, 2006 Washington Post interview, which hip hop artist said, I'm glad there's another white guy out there having success because it's all been on my shoulders for so long. Nas, N-A-S. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice, gotcha. John, congratulations. You guys are gonna stay in the house. Ladies, please come back from the viewing room. Unfortunately, Amanda and Tony, you guys have lost. Good luck to you both. And now, I have to ask you to leave the mansion. John and Natalie, congratulations, you did it. There are 16 people upstairs waiting to see who won, so why don't you head up there and give them the good news. I kind of wanted to prove that 
that there was more to me than just what I look like. I learned that a lot of people view me as a smart person. I really like, I didn't know that. I think maybe I need to not second guess myself so much and not doubt my intelligence and trust myself more. I would definitely remember Amanda. She helped me like get out of my shell and just believe in myself. I really did feel like I did grow. It's really hard for me to like open up like that. There's not a person in the world who couldn't benefit from knowing you. You just have to give everybody else that same opportunity that I got. Thank you. Oh, God.